Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of my star sign legacy challenge Gemini generation Today we are still in Mount Komorebi. We have a couple days left of vacation with our grandma and today I have the girls up at the spring festival. At the moment Rain is just swimming around in the little lake area. I'll show you guys where we are at the moment. Here we are. We are at the spring festival. Um, there is a, actually a event on today so we had to do a couple of things. So I thought I'd place down a little lot where there was a few activities and some vendors so we could come out today and celebrate the start of spring in Mount Komorebi with our family and some of the locals. I have decided to give all of the girls some, some traditional Japanese outfits to celebrate today. So Honey's of course wearing hers at the moment and she's heading over here to play I think some Scrabble or some chess or something. Um, she's looking very, very cute. If we have a look at her over here, I think I look... I absolutely love this hair on her and I think these colors are just super pretty. So she's looking adorable and she's enjoying herself. Um, both Maple and Rain at the moment are just swimming around in the little pond lake area. <laughs> but to be honest, I might get Maple out because I'm not really sure what she's doing. <laughs> Here we go, Maple's changed into her outfit as well. And hers is more of a mint color because she is the heir, but I think she looks super cute. Both of these girls look absolutely adorable. I wanna make sure that they spend some time together today and just really enjoy the spring weather. It is the first day of spring in game today, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe like the second day, I think it's the first day. <laughs> so I really want them to soak up this beautiful weather and just have a really good day. Okay, so they've decided to play this game together. I wonder if I could get Rain to actually come over. All right, here she is, Grandma Rain, and she's come over to see what the girls are up to. So they're all gonna sit down together, and I don't think I can get her to actually join in the game because they've already started, but I think she'll just hang out and watch them for a little bit while they finish off their game. She's feeling a bit sad today because she did lose one of her good friends. I think Stephanie actually passed away in the last episode, which is one of her childhood friends. Um, so she's feeling a little bit sad about that, but aside from losing her friend, she's generally in a good mood. Hey honey, it's Michaela. Do you want to hang out tonight? No, I'm sorry. We're not in Mount Komorebi. I mean, we are in Mount Komorebi. We're not back home, so we can't hang out. But once we're home from vacation, we'll definitely hang out with our friend Michaela again. Okay, so some of the stores are actually opening today, so we can actually come over and get ourselves some food or just browse any of the stalls. I'm gonna get Rain to actually come over and haggle at this grocery store. I think it would be nice for her to make a nice family dinner tonight for all the girls. So she's gonna come over and see if she can get some produce really cheaply. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this sad moodlet so she's in a bit of a better mood. I feel a little bit bad for her because I don't want her like sulking around. Like she <laughs> looks so sad. Maple's also over here. I think she's actually journaling at the moment, which is nice. She's ranting about her stress. She's a bit stressed about university, reading her acceptance. I don't think Honey is feeling the same kind of pressures. She is a little bit but not generally like at the start. She's a lot happier from other things. I think Honey knows that she's got a pretty good shot of getting into university because she has worked really, really hard. Whereas Maple maybe is a bit unsure or maybe she's just a bit stressed because she wasn't really sure what degree she even wanted to go into and she just made the choice based on what her sister was doing. <laughs> Look at her go. All right, so Rain did end up getting a bargain over here. So we'll buy some discounted items now. Yeah, let's get some tomatoes, we get some potatoes, <laughs> um, we'll get some onions, some mushrooms. I think that sounds good for dinner. Thank you so much. And what other stalls are open over here at the moment? Oh, we can get some ramen. Rain's gonna come haggle as well over here. It looks like she's recently just eaten, but I still wanna see if we can get a discount. <gasps> he said no. Oh wait, he said yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's get ourselves some dungo and I think the girls will come and get some as a little treat as well. Dang, that looks really good. All right, Honey's come to get some as well and she's taking a little selfie. <laughs> she's like, we just look so cute. There we go, look at all three of them in their traditional outfits. I also love that I gave Rain little crocs because she just wants to be comfy. <laughs> okay, you guys enjoy your dungo and I think there's actually going to be some live music shortly. So hopefully someone will show up soon. It's getting a little bit late. So I think we'll actually come and light this bonfire and get um, everyone to come and hang out around here. Okay, we're just enjoying our dungo where we sit at the bonfire. We're waiting for 
Rain to come and tell some stories about her past. Honey's over here too, don't mind them sinking into the ground. April's been really into photography this trip, so I'm gonna get her to take a photo. And then I also want her to get to take some selfies with Rain and also her sister. Here we are, oh, they're so cute. They're all sitting together. Okay, I think we can probably take a picture of like our grandma and our sister then. Look how cute that is. I wish you could zoom out a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, so Rain's telling a story about like maybe her past, or maybe she's telling a story about like her ancestors, or like just stories about Japan in general, so we can find out more about the culture. This is actually so sweet, just watching them kind of like sit around and talk. <laughs> Honey, did you want to pop another log in the fire since it's sort of, there we go. And do you guys want to maybe like roast some marshmallows on the fire i know this is probably not really what we're supposed to be doing but we're gonna do it anyway oh they're so cute look at their marshmallows look at you twins go oh, yum okay so it's 6 30 at night it's getting a little bit late we're feeling a little bit tired so we aren't gonna stay too much longer but i wanted to come over and actually light these fireworks now it's one of the traditions that we have to do and we also have to visit acquaintances and Best of lighting. And it's okay, so after this, we'll come and light a candle as well. All right, Maple's gonna volunteer to actually put out the firework. Hey, right, there she goes. Lighting it up and let's see it go off. Oh, it's actually just a small sparkler one. <laughs> Wait, that's too cute. Okay, let's put the rest of them out then. Okay, now that's, that's a bigger one. There we go. Yay. Okay, tradition complete. Whoa, that's so nice. Happy spring, everyone. All right, let's take a selfie before we head home. Oh, they're too cute. Look at these guys. Okay, I'm ready to head back to the lodging now. These girls are super tired. I think that Rain already head off a little bit earlier because she wants to get started on dinner tonight, but we're gonna head off now. We're feeling extremely tired and Maple really, really needs the bathroom as well. <laughs> so let's head home. Or back to lodging at least back to rain's house and i think it's gonna be our final night in mount komarebi so yeah i really want to spend it with our grandma and just kind of you know enjoy her as much as possible all right after such a long day we are finally home and we need the bathroom asap honestly <laughs> Rain is gonna do some cooking for us tonight i think she probably will do some group cooking with the girls and let's make some fish yaki soba oh are you in here checking your application honey what's going on in this room <gasps> okay so she's chatting with some of her friends online maybe after Michaela kept calling her she's like reaching at her and she's like oh look I'm sending you some pictures from Mount Komarebi like Maple and I are having a really good time we'll be back tomorrow and we can hang out then um I am gonna get these girls to actually just check the university applications I don't think anything has come back yet but I'm going to get Honey to check it because she's a bit of an anxious girly, I think. <laughs> but she had a really, really good day. Look at this. She's like happy from roasting the marshmallows. She's super happy from vacationing. Um, she's a little bit homesick though, which is a bit sad. But she's also just feeling really inspired from her grandma's story. And I think that Maple probably also has the, all the same moodlets. Yeah, essentially. Okay, so these two are cooking in the kitchen. Honey decided that her application checking it was made way more important so she actually isn't cooking with us right at the minute but she's gonna come through and um join us in just a second there she is hey oh look at them getting all the little sentiments together i don't know why she's like encouraging her grandma <laughs> is that you helping okay dinner is served though girls let's come grab a serving and maple actually you really need to use the loo because you're about to wait yourself all right, let's quickly have our dinner and head to bed. Today has been absolutely exhausting. Um, as we can tell from what's happening right now, Mabel is completely freaking out of it. She is so tired. So I think I'll just send her straight to bed. She is so, so, so tired. Um, go get some sleep, love, and hopefully you'll be all good. And honey, I'll get you to come and pop all of these in fridge and we'll also put all this away to so cooking grandma we'll clean up for you did you want to head to bed yeah she's gonna head to the bathroom and then head to bed i think oh why are you cleaning up in the kid the bathroom come on <laughs> be for real honey be for real 
So Honey's feeling actually pretty alright so I think I'm going to get her to come take a bath before bed but then after that she's going to head to bed too. I don't know if the vacation is going to kick us out tomorrow morning or not but it actually is our little sister's birthday tomorrow so as i mentioned in the last episode dallas was actually pregnant she has gone ahead and given birth to a baby and i have changed the baby's name her name is clementine fyi so she'll be aging up into an infant when we get home tomorrow and i'm very excited to see what she looks like and also kind of just spend the day with her as well our little sister before we hopefully move out onto university campus Alrighty, good morning. So Maple's up bright and early this morning and she's decided to get up and make some breakfast for everyone. She's just gonna make some rice cakes, which I think is gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm pretty sure our vacation today is ending in the afternoon. I do recall we actually started it in the afternoon. So I think we do have one more day in Mount Komarebi, which is fine, that works for me. Um, there is one more place I do want to go today, but aside from that, I think we probably will head home in the afternoon because I do want to be there to age up our infant sister, even if our vacation is not fully ended yet. Um, so we're definitely going to be doing that. Maple is just cooking at the moment, waiting for this to be done, and then everyone can come grab some breakfast. Okay, honey, time to get up, baby. Right, this is their last breakfast together. This is so cute. Let's just take this in. Look at you all. <laughs> I feel like the twins are just, like, in sync all the time. All right, did you girls want to get dressed for the day? Ready to head out? Oh, we can totally get dressed from our bag. Okay, let's change our outfit. And I want to pop a nice spring outfit on today since it is the second day of spring, technically. And honey, you want to come get changed? All right, here goes Maple, all dressed for the day. She's looking super, super cute. Look at her in a little spring outfit. I feel like I love dressing the twins, especially Maple, and kind of like clothes that fit where they are and what the season is like. I don't feel like I really like giving her like a style that she has to stick to. I kind of prefer to give her outfits based on like where she is, you know what I mean? There we go. Both of the girls are ready for spring today wearing nice long skirts and I think they just look super, super adorable. Like look at this little marshmallow, she's too cute. Okay, we're ready to head out today and ready for our final day in Mount Komorebi. So today I am actually gonna grab these girlies and we are going to spend our morning in downtown Mount Komorebi today. I don't know if this place is any good but we'll come have a look. All right here we are we're at downtown Mount Komorebi now. So there's a couple stalls here and a couple bars and things. There's also a what, a what hello? I can't tell if the lights are really bright in here or this guy's like glitching out because he looks like a white silhouette. What is happening? All right, so let's all come in here together then and we'll have a look at the local grocer. Oh my gosh, look at all of this stuff. It's so cute. <gasps> okay, yeah, the lights in here are just absolutely like... <laughs> um, can we set the intensity of all lights like down like a lot? Because my Sims... What is going on? It's so bright in here for some reason. I don't know why this is happening. Okay, did you girls want to get yourself something from the vending machine then? All right, you girls enjoy that. And what else is around here? I think Rain is probably wanting to look at some of these other places. Ooh, this is nice. There's like a little fountain area we can come and sit. And downstairs there is a gym and a bowling alley. Oh my gosh, and a spa. <gasps> this is so nice. Okay, and then what else have we got over here? All right, so over here is another little like cafe area where we can come and get um, coffee. I'm gonna hire a barista so we can actually order some coffee a little bit later. And then in this section, I think this is a little karaoke bar, but you can also have drinks here as well. Oh yeah, you can come hire drinks outside, okay. I mean, honestly, this is so freaking adorable. I love lots like this where there's like so many things that you guys can do. Um, I want to come downstairs and I think the girls probably, honestly, are going to want to come and have a little spa day. Right, let's come all relax together in this sauna for the meantime to kind of soften up our skin a little bit ready for our massage. Rain's like, oh, I know this secret spot. It's going to have such a nice relaxing day, our last day here. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's gonna take us down to have a little sauna. There we go. Come on, come in, girls. This is so relaxing. What? I love how they're just like chilling in here. <laughs> give life lessons on love. Cute. Oh, I didn't realize that elders could give Sims life lessons. I really like that. We'll give them on family as well. And then with Honey, I want to give her life lessons on friendship. Cute. Okay, so it looks like the masseuse has arrived. So I'm going to get Mabel to come over and she's going to get a... Ooh, I don't even know what kind of massage I want. Let's get a stone massage. That sounds nice. And then I think Honey can come over and get one as well. Let's get her a aromatherapy one. Okay, here we go. They're coming over for their massage now. <laughs> All right, girls are both on the massage beds having different things. So Maple is getting the hot stone one. I don't know if this is going to leave like marks on her back, but this looks so good. I'm actually so jealous. I want a nice massage too. And then Honey over here is getting a aromatherapy one. So hopefully this will help her like de-stress from all her uni stresses at the moment. And Ms. Rain, she honestly is just really enjoying herself. She's having such a nice time in the sauna. So I'm just going to leave her in here until these girls are done. And then she can come get a massage as well. Cute little pamper day before we head home, honestly. I'm always like curious if you could like see their faces from underneath. Because there's like actually visibly a hole. <laughs> There's actually a hole. That's so funny. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Go back down. <laughs> Look at honey. That's actually so funny. Okay. So Maple's finished with her massage and Hanny's getting up now. Um, I think Rain's going to come and get one really quickly as well. Let's get a massage. She's going to get a Swedish one from this lady. And then I think that these girls can take turns giving each other like pedicures and stuff. So... Oh, like, you know, hair massages. So we'll offer one to Honey at first, and then hopefully she'll give us one back. Do you want a hair massage while I wait for Grandma? Ah, it seems like some very good love advice. It might just help Maple on her journey. Yeah, her, her love journey that she's not going to have. <laughs> oh, they're getting hungry. They're going to go order some food. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead. Maple's like, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to get myself some food over here. Hello, just wanting to get some, uh, like a croissant or a coffee or something, please. Also, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm in my towel. Let me change my outfit. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. Okay, let's eat that up and then we'll feel a bit better. But yeah, these girls are having a really nice time at Comoroby. Their vacation does end in just a couple hours. I just got a notification saying vacation has four hours left on it. So it's probably about three hours at this point. So I don't think we're going to have a chance to do anything further apart from kind of just relax at the spa today. But honestly, I'm okay with that. I feel like this vacation has been super nice and it's been so nice to spend like more time with our grandma again. And I think Rain has had a really nice time like getting to know the girls properly since she didn't like grow up around them. Okay, calm down. What are you? Oh, she's in some sort of mood. Mabel's going through a phase. She's feeling very, very rebellious. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. But yeah, it's really nice. Like they've gotten some life lessons. They've gotten some insight to the future. Mabel is like super keen now to keep traveling like she absolutely loved being in Mount Komorobi and taking all those photos and I feel like once she's finished at university she's going to want to continue to travel around a little bit and just like discover new places um she's also really keen to get that van we talked about in the last episode when she goes to university she's still deciding like what she's going to do because these guys don't have a lot of money and obviously they don't make too much from work at this stage but they'll figure that out all right honey are we are we double parked over here <laughs> see honey to me like are you a good girl like <laughs> she has a juice in one hand and a espresso in the other and she's gonna drink both <laughs> i didn't even tell her to order anything She's so funny. And now she's coming to watch this random Matt Komorobi bowling team. And Maple's over here having a drink at the bar. What are you drinking? Frizzy, fruity something. I hope it's not alcoholic. Maple's feeling really good. She's feeling super confident from today. And I, I honestly feel like she's excited to get back home and see her family. But at the same time, she's like, with such a high energy burst from this vacation. Like she feels so good about it. And I think she's just really excited for the next one. Hi, Rain. You know, I'm really, really gonna miss you when 
me and honey go back home like are you gonna be okay like okay here by yourself and rain's like honestly I, I i feel like i don't have too much time left and i'm thinking about leaving mount komarebi and being with my family for the last couple years of my life I, i've already spoken to your mom and once you girls go off to university i think i'm actually gonna move in with your family for a little bit and just to help them out with the kids since you and honey will be out of the house um so yeah you'll see a lot of me don't stress but our vacation actually has ended so i'm going to go ahead and cancel and end our vacation now and we're going to be heading back home to brindleton bay all right girls are home this feels so crazy um rain's staying back because as i mentioned like rain has plans to come and move in with us to help with the kids once these two go off to university but for now, she will be in Mount Komarevi because she's kind of getting her affairs in order and deciding what she wants to do. But oh my gosh. Okay, so back in the household, um, Dal's having a really bad time. <laughs> I don't know what's up with her. She's having a really bad time. Okay, I think we should come over and say hey to our mom, though. Um, we'll come give her a big hug and just we haven't seen her in a couple days. So I want to make sure we come and give her biggest hugs and Yuki's here too we'll give her a hug as well hey mom hey mom <laughs> of course the hug is glitching out typical all right there they go we're like oh we miss you so much Yuki's like how was Mount Komorebi did you have fun with grandma I bet she showed you all of her favorite things to do oh Maple's like already in her pajamas she's like I'm ready for bed <laughs> but we'll have to come and chat with our mummies first before we go oh it's so nice to see them and we actually haven't met our little sister yet who is upstairs little clementine so here she is i have a feeling she's got dark hair i have a feeling she has dark hair so i'm gonna get maple to come up and actually just say hey to her and honey can come do the same as well and then i think we'll just go ahead and age her up because it is her birthday today oh auntie likes affection oh because she got a hug from her sister that's so cute. Who is at the door? Hello, sir. We're busy. We're busy. Okay, heading upstairs to see our little sister now. <gasps> there we go. Honey's giving her a little kiss. Cute. It seems like she's a good baby. Oh. <laughs> and she immediately starts crying. Of course she does. I don't know. She seems like she's a good baby for the most part. Okay, we're all in here ready to age up Clementine. And here she goes. Mabel's taking a picture. Okay, she is aged up and she is a wiggly infant. <gasps> All right, there she is. She has dark hair. I don't know what her skin tone is like yet because she has a like overlay on. So let's go into cast, take everything off her and we'll see what she looks like. All right, so this is a little Clementine. I'm just taking off some of the CC she has now, but it looks like she spawned with little freckles and also one green eye which i think is kind of cute and i think we probably will keep it um i kind of like the blush she has but i'm just gonna change it to a different okay maybe like more of a pink yeah i feel like we can roll with this she's got um the similar eyes to her, her sister so we'll give her one brown eye one green eye and then obviously she has black hair and pretty fair skin all right guys so this is baby clementine all aged up into an infant oh my gosh i can hardly <laughs> i can see her let's have a look here she is isn't she just the sweetest little bub you've ever seen she's too cute i'm so glad we got to go home and age her up and just experience our new little sister but i'm actually gonna go ahead and end things here for today if you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys next time bye